Sanford led by three at the break late in the third quarter. The Bulldogs lead it over Wofford 36 to 30. We're joined now on the telecast by Wofford class of 1994, Brenda Jackson. She was a part of the last Terrier basketball team on the women's side to make the NCAA tournament. That was 1994 under coach Crystal Sharp as the Lady Terriers that year made the NCAA Division II playoffs. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. So they're turning out the lights on this place. Oh, they are. I mean, so many memories in this arena. All the sweat and tears and running and suicides. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember the practices. Oh, I do. I remember my first year at Wofford coming in as a freshman. Um, our first game actually was away at Alabama um, Huntsville. Alabama Huntsville, yeah. It the was Chargers. A, <laughs> it was a tournament. And, you know, I was determined to prove that I deserved a uh, starting shot. And I remember that first game, I made all tournament. Um, scored, I think, 30, 34 points that game and pulled out 15 rebounds. So that was oh my boy. introduction to Wofford, my first game in the Alabama Huntsville tournament. Cairo Booker is fouled on her way to the basket, so she'll go to the line to foul against Katie Allen. So now Booker will shoot a couple as Wofford is down seven. And now six. So early in your career, you made a statement. You ended up having a Hall of Fame type career here. It was a wonderful career at Wofford. I loved all my four years at Wofford. Um, came in as a freshman, traveled overseas with the volleyball and basketball team. Oh, you played volleyball as well. I know, I, I went. I mean, she wanted me to, but I, I didn't go that route. I ran cross country at Wofford. Okay, so you were a two sport <laughs> athlete. I, I did, um, but we traveled overseas. Where did you go? Um, we went to Europe, um, Belgium, we went to, we went to Belgium, we went to Holland, um, France, and London. It's a long way from Abbeville, South Carolina. Oh, very <laughs> long way. It was a lot of fun. Terriers down six, we're under two minutes in the quarter. Booker, tough shot, but she drew contact from Allen, and Cairo Booker will go to the line. What's it been like as an alum to watch this program? You play D2. What's it been like to watch them transition to D1? It's, it's, it's different. You know, we didn't have all this. You know, we had the keeping stats. With <laughs> yeah, by hand, <laughs> yes. Um, you know, it's just, I wish it was Division One when I was here. You know, the different schools, I would have got a chance to play. But I enjoyed my time in Division One. But I can tell the difference. The players are a lot taller. <laughs> I don't know if I would have had that uh, rebound record if I had played against all these girls. Now, how tall are you? I'm 5'7". Five 5'7", seven. Five seven, so you'd be a guard now. Yes, I would be. What did D1. you play for, Chris? Strong forward. Strong, strong at 5'7". Five seven. At 5'7". Five seven. The world has changed. <laughs> <laughs> our center was actually 6'5", but I outjumped our center. What was her name? I'm Catherine Rader. Oh, I remember yeah. Catherine Rader, sure. <laughs> Redhead, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So who did you play in the playoffs in 94? Do you remember? I do not remember. <laughs> <laughs> Talking with class of 94, Brenda Jackson here for the final women's game ever in this arena. Have you heard much about the new place that's going up? Everybody's saying how nice it is. Yes, it so is. It's going to be a great seeing what it looks like. And maybe one day I'll come to one of their practices and I'll get my feet wet on the new floor. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure they will welcome you. Cassidy Blevins misses the first of two. The Terrier foul was on Wanick, her second. Still a five-point Bulldog lead with 1.35 to play in the third quarter. And Blevins ups the lead to six. So you, can you still get out on the floor, Brenda? Oh, can I can, you? a little bit. A little bit, okay. <laughs> Do you play rec ball or anything um, like I don't. that? Uh, I don't. I'm too busy. You too, know, you what look, are you doing these days? I'm an assistant principal at the middle school in Abbeville. Oh, okay. Um, I coached. I stopped coaching three years ago to become an assistant principal. I coached for 15 years. Oh, boy. And my Abbeville Panthers, we went to the state championship um, a couple of years before I stopped coaching. Lambden is fouled, and she'll go to the line with Wofford down by six. A good look inside from Cairo Booker and the foul committed by Lydia McGee. That is his, her first. And that's good. Wofford trying to hang around down five. 
So do you miss coaching? You've been I, out of it I three do. years now? I do miss it. Yeah. Um, but that was a choice. Really wasn't my decision because I would probably still be coaching. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> How do you like uh, administration? Oh, I love it. Oh, good. I love it. So uh, you're the vice principal? Yes. I'm so do you have to be the bad the, I uh, have bad to be the cop? Bad, cop, bad cop. Are you good at being a bad cop? I am. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, but I also love on them as well. <laughs> Four points, Samford lead, shot clock at 10. Fitzgerald will let go of the three, and that got nothing but glass. However, a stick back no good inside for Stevens, and Pinholster has the rebound. Wofford can cut into a four-point deficit, final minute of the third quarter. She's quick, isn't she, she Booker? Is. You as a coach probably are watching for things like that. Do you ever, does the coaching ever go away, Brenda? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> I miss it. And when I go to Abbeville High in some of the games, it's hard for me not to want to say something to the players, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wanick is short. Down to 11 seconds in the quarter, so Sanford up four will hold for the shot. This is going to be Blevins inside. No, shot was taken after the buzzer by Lydia McGee. Brenda Jackson, great to see you. Great to see you. We've got a break in the action. Fourth quarter when we come back. Sanford's lead over Wofford is 38 to 34. This is ESPN 3. <laughs> 